Hello Virgo, welcome to another reading. This is gonna be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you currently. Um, as always, it's meant to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo 100%. Uh, take what resonates and applies to your situation. So let's jump right in for Virgo. Spirit, some of God's messages, please, for Virgo. For Virgo spirit. What does Virgo need to know? What is Virgo's person thinking or feeling about Virgo? What is, what is Virgo's person thinking or feeling about them? What is Virgo's person thinking or feeling? I can't deny that you are my soulmate. What is Virgo's person thinking or feeling? I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Destiny will help us find each other. Okay, that's very hopeful. <laughs> uh, I can't deny that you are my soulmate. I feel like this is someone that's realizing this like um, recently. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Regrets for sure. And Destiny will help us find each other. Very hopeful energy there. Um, we'll see. What else can you tell us, Spirit? What is Virgo's person thinking or feeling? about Virgo or this connection. Is Virgo's person thinking or feeling about Virgo or this connection? Nine of Pentacles. What is Virgo's person thinking or feeling? The Hermit. Well, there you are, Virgo. The lovers, Gemini energy. There's the realization, judgment at the bottom of the deck. This person is looking at the past, realizing something about the past. Maybe they've been, you know, withdrawn, uh, digging deep, doing some soul searching here. I feel like they see you like this, Virgo. Um, someone that has a lot to offer, very successful, attractive, independent. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more for Virgo. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Judgment. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Death, Scorpio energy. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Knight of Swords. Yeah, that's that. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. He, th this person didn't realize what they had until it was over. And I feel like with the Knight of Swords and the Judgment card, it's like a sudden realization, like the truth hit this person. Um, maybe they see you doing very well and it's almost like, wow, I should have given that a shot. I should have... I should have kept Virgo around. I feel like this person might want to communicate here with the Knight of Swords. Almost like whatever they've realized they need to tell you about here. Tell me about the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? The Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Why is the Hermit here? Why is the Hermit here? Knight of Wands. Once again, um, oh, there's the Ace of Cups. Quick movement, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. These are um, very quick. Quick messages, um, quick action, impulsive energy. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? I mean, this could be the soulmate destined energy that is in the oracle cards here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? King of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So interesting. I feel like there, there is regrets here. Uh, what's at the bottom of the deck? Nine of Swords, Fear, Anxiety, Remorse. 
yeah, look at these two, the same energy, hand, um, the hands in their faces, can't believe what's happened, can't believe where they're at, how they got here, because I feel like you have a lot to offer, Virgo, I feel like you are doing very well, and this person has taken notice, they can see it, and it's almost like they see a future here, like almost like that's where my future lies. That's what I need. That's the kind of partner that I need. The King of Pentacles is like the ideal partner. And it's like they feel stupid for losing you. It's kind of what I'm getting. Or they're regretting, you know, losing you or what led to losing you. Because they know they, they lost a good thing. Tell me about the lovers. Ten of Wands. So the, another ten. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune is the number ten. Tell me about the lovers. Ten of Swords. Yeah, what's with the tens? Tell me about the lovers. Tens are about completion. It's 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 the culmination of something. It's endings, cycles ending. Tell me about the lovers. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Oh, this person could be making some sort of move in their life, a transition. Maybe they've ended a cycle in their life and they're choosing a different path because the Lovers is a card about a choice. Um, bottom of the deck, Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, and then the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be somebody that is wanting to apologize communicate honestly here but i'm getting it's like they've left something tell me about the ten of wands and the ten of swords because the six of swords is a card about leaving something behind you're moving forward but you're leaving something behind specifically tell me about the ten of wands and the ten of swords tell me about the ten of wands ten of swords Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Can I get one more for Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands? Can I get one more. Two of Swords. Yeah, this was a difficult choice, but someone's choosing, I feel, <clears throat> excuse me, someone's choosing balance, harmony, because. The Six of Swords is a card about leaving some difficulty behind towards a more peaceful environment, a healthier environment, a more stable environment overall. Bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor, Aries energy, and Justice, Libra energy. Yeah, this is this is a very decisive decision. This is um this is someone that made a difficult choice and has I feel made it for a specific reason tell me about the two of swords why is the two of swords here five of wands why is the two of swords here the empress interesting can I get one more for the two of swords why is the two of swords here the fool, yeah. This is someone, th this person, your person, because <clears throat> this is their energy, they decided to take a risk. To go somewhere new, to start over. I don't know what this means specifically. I don't know if there's a third party and, because you know, you have to leave something. So it could be, you know, a person, a situation. But I feel like this person decided to start over for their empress. And there's doubt here with the seven of pentacles or an uncertainty about how, what the future holds. How is this going to work out? I feel like there was some drama they were dealing with, with the five of wands, the ten of wands, ten of swords. This was a difficult ending for this person. It wasn't an easy choice because I have the two of swords. And, it, and it, maybe it wasn't easy because it required a risk. 
you know, and that takes courage. Tell me more about this person's energies or intentions towards Virgo. What are their energies or intentions towards Virgo? Spirit, what are their energies or intentions towards Virgo, Spirit? Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. Plant seeds now watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Strong bonds. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Tell me more about this person's intentions or energies. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. You have tied up true love and paralyzing fear. What's at the bottom of the deck? Burden heart, happy ending, walking away. Yeah, this person, hmm, this strong bonds, true love. I feel like they know that you are their soulmate. This is very clear. They know that you are their person, their true partner. I feel like they want to grow, plant seeds with you, watch them grow, have a future together because I feel like this person sees what they could have with you and you know i feel like they want that <laughs> they see you doing well they see that you're the right partner for them and they want you in their life um but i have tied up in paralyzing fear and over here with the fool i had the hangman at the bottom of the deck and the seven of cups with the eight of pentacles so hmm, tell me more about tied up and paralyzing fear you get some insight into the tied up and paralyzing fear energy. With burden heart at the bottom of the deck. That's like that ten of wands. Eight of pentacles. The high priestess and the six of cups. The star and the world. Aquarius energy. So I feel like this person has hope. Once again, destiny will help us find each other. Very hopeful energy here. Is There's the star. Does that make sense? Um, again, with the soulmate energy with the six of cups. Now with the eight of pentacles, I feel like they're trying to work towards like through their fear. Maybe their intuition is guiding them here. I feel like their intuition is going to tell them that they have nothing to lose or that they won't know until they try that kind of energy. And I feel like that's why the eight of pentacles is here. Can I get one more for the Eight of Pentacles? Can I get one more for the Eight of Pentacles, please? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person is almost like they're working up the courage or working to fight for what they want, being brave, facing any obstacle or challenge. But, it, it, you know, make no mistake, I feel like this person is a bit, I feel like this fear is more about being too late than it is about actually approaching you. Because you are an Empress energy. You're showing up as an Empress energy or a King of Pentacles energy. So, you know, I, I, I don't think they, they can match you right now. I think they're showing up as Knight of Wands here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Page of Cups also showed up. So, you know, I don't think that they're at that same level as you because you're showing up Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You're doing great for yourself. Um, I don't think this person is, is there. But they see what they could have. And I feel like they're attracted to this idea. Maybe they feel this pull, you know, this, this realization that they've had about, you know, the strong ties that you have, the fact that you're their soulmate. They've realized you are their soulmate. And I think it's it's helping them become more brave, I guess I should say. So that's what I have for you, Virgo, in terms of what your person's currently thinking or feeling about you. Um, I hope it resonated for you. Let me know down in the comments if it did, um, or if you just want to say hello. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, uh, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. And um, thank you so much for watching yet again, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.